want to look at how to assess gluteus minimus using real-time ultrasound. The first thing we want to set up is your patient position. So they need to be lying on their side and it's useful to have a couple of pillows between their knees. I like to try and set up so that the, the hip, the greater trochanter, the knee and the ankle are almost parallel. And you'll need their hips maybe flexed about 60 degrees. You don't want their knees bent up too much. Then to find it anatomically on them, I put the heel of my hand on the greater trochanter and then spread my fingers over the glute medius because the minimus is located under the medius. So they're reaching towards the iliac crest. That's where I'm going to find it. And then I'm going to place the transducer head over that area. So we want lots of gel. I'm going to place transducer head and then we're going to go to look at the settings on the ultrasound machine. I'm just going to apply some gel to the transducer head, place my hand on the greater trochanter and then the transducer head just where my fingers would lie and here I get a nice image of the gluteus minimus. So just to the right of the screen here, I can see the femoral head, there's the joint space, and here's the glute minimus, and the medius is above it. I'll bring my focus position, it's just on the left of the screen, this arrow, I'll just adjust it to see if it helps me get a better image, I think it's good where it is, if I need to change that's a better image just there. Good. Now from here, just going to ask Alex to try and contract his glute me minimus for me. So I'll just ask him very gently, think of his femur, very gently draw your femur gently as if you're pulling it deeper into your hip socket. Good, very gently. Now just from your ankle, your lower leg, just think about lifting the lower leg. Just slowly and then relax. Good. And we saw a slight glide of the fascia of glute min minimus. We'll try that once more. Gently draw the fe femoral head slightly deeper into your hip socket. And then think about just lifting the leg. Just think from your ankle. And a little bit of the knee. And then relax. Now we're going to look at an incorrect glute minimus contraction. So here's the glute minimus medius and glute max and we're looking at glute minimus here resting in this hammock and it sits there in the ilium. So Alex, if you can just do an incorrect contraction for me. And what we can see, we can see how much glute max expands and it's pushing down on glute minimus and medius and it's preventing the glute minimus from expanding. And relax. And we'll just see, Alex, can you just do one more correct contraction for us to compare? Gently draw the hip in and think about lifting the leg beautiful. And then relax. And we'll just try one more. Gently in and then very gently lift from the lower leg from your ankle and relax. Now we're going to do an assessment of quadratus femoris. First we want to look at our patient positioning, so they're lying on their side. Again I've got two pillows between the knees, but what's different this time, I've got the heels very gently touching. 
we're going to find the anatomical landmarks. So we look for the greater trochanter. We're also looking for the ischial tuberosity. And the quadratus femoris lies between the two of them. And what we actually want to do is create a type of shortening. So it's like you're closing a matchbox in that direction. I'll take the transducer head, apply lots of gel, find the greater trochanter, issue tuberosity, and go straight on, and then we'll go to look at the machine. Now on the screen, I had to make some adjustments to the image. So I had to change the frequency, frequency to 4 megahertz, alter the depth to about 12, and change my gain. So on the left, you can see a sort of valley shape. On the left, the left is the greater trochanter. Then it dips down, and that's the band of the quadratus femoris. And then more to the right of the screen is the issue of tuberosity. So I'll just ask Alex to very gently, gently think of drawing your femur gently into the deeper into your hip socket. Gently squeeze your heels, beautiful, and think about just lifting the top of your leg. Very good, and we get a nice lift, contraction, and then relax and then it sinks back down. That's a nice contraction of the quadratus femoris. We'll do that one more time, very gently. Gently shorten the femur, gentle heel squeeze, very good, and think about just lifting the top of the leg, and then relax, very good. So we just had an excellent contraction of the quadratus femoris. So quadratus femoris is an external rotator of the hip, and the glute minimus is an internal rotator. What we know when there is hip pain, that these muscles are often very weak. We need to rehabilitate these muscles. We want to rehabilitate them to come on together in a co-contraction. They're acting as a rotator cuff around the femoral head. So using the machine, we've learned the cues to enable your client to contract those two muscles together. And using those cues, they can incorporate it into their home functional exercise program.